Okay, in the last video I gave an overview of, uh, of, of, of a very quick overview of uh, Bootstrap and um, version 3 of Bootstrap, which is what we're going to use. And I showed some of the um, items that we're going to build into our, into our learning content. Um, and as I say, eventually we'll upload that learning content into, um, into a Moodle website. Um, but it could be into another LMS as, as well. So to get started, what I've done is to create an empty um, folder, and this is where we're going to to do our our initial work. And we're going to build um, a new HTML file, and we can use this work for um, for de for development um, on our local machine. And then when we want to include it into Moodle, there are two ways of doing this. One is to upload the file that we create, and the other is to actually just copy some of the code that we've created into a, a component within Moodle. But I'll show you both of those as we move through. First thing we want to do is to create a new um, HTML document. So we'll just call this um, index.html. And I'll open this up in an editor. And uh, of course, because it's a, it's a blank page, um, we'll have nothing uh, in this at all. Yeah. Rather than um, watch me type everything, here's one I, pre I prepared earlier. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into our new file. And I'll explain what each bit does. So this is a new blank HTML file. And what we're going to do is to make some references to some sites online. Um, so we don't need to download Bootstrap uh, at all. We can actually run this entirely from from um, content distribution network um, CDN files that are located on the internet. So starting at the top, we've got a HTML tag uh, open and close. We've got a head tag open and close. We've got a title, and I've already put in solar system so we're going to build something related to the solar system in this example and what we what I've included here is two links um, to bootstrap files we don't actually need the second one but the, the second one allows us to add an extra um, theme into uh, what we're going to produce but the crucial file is this top one here um, which is a content distribution network file for Bootstrap 3 and it's bootstrap.min and .min means that it's been minified so that it's, it's much smaller than a normal CSS file. Now a CSS file, if you're, not, if you're unfamiliar with that, is a, is a text, it's basically a text file that contains all of the styling information uh, that we can then use within the page. So this really contains the rules for presenting the information, and we'll, we'll see how that works as we go through. Now, I've also added a, um, I'm going to say a link to the theme, but also a link to a local style sheet. So this is, I'm going to put this into a, a folder on my desktop, and this is in case we want to overwrite or supersede some of the files that are in the main bootstrap. Um, text file, CSS file, and we might do that because we just want to change colors or sizes slightly or things like that. Um, then we've got um, the body of the HTML page, open tag and close tag, and at the bottom here we've got two script files. One is to uh, the jQuery um, file, um, and some of the Bootstrap um, or the Bootstrap uh, J, uh, JavaScript uh, components requires jQuery to run. Now jQuery is an open source um, JavaScript framework. Now don't worry if um, you're not a coder, you don't actually need to know uh, anything about um, coding JavaScript to do what we're going to do. All you need to do to create is to include this link and the link beneath it, which is the Bootstrap specific 
um, JavaScript uh, file. Uh, if you include that, those two links, then you'll get the ability to add interactive components uh, such as the tab, the jQuery, and other things. Sorry, the um, accordion collapsible files, um, collapsible segments, etc. Uh, all of those will be included. So, just to recap, we can create a basic HTML file. This top link is essential and these two bottom links are essential. And if you've included those three, then you've got everything that you need for the magic of Bootstrap and um, jQuery to work in your page. Um, I've made sure that I've linked to HTTPS um, versions of the, of the content distribution network. In that way, when we're linking from secure sites, um, such as where your LMS will be hosted, then it should work seamlessly without um, any requests for confirmation about security alerts, etc., which different browsers show in different ways. So that's how to set up our initial page. Um, I will just add a couple of extra items into the folder that we created. So we've got our index, and we'll just add a couple of extra folders in here. We'll add a folder called CSS, and this is where we're going to put our individual local styles in. And we'll add a folder, uh, a folder called resources, and this is where we're going to put any images that we might use. Um, now we could refer to those, um, if, we're, if we're using open images off the web, we could just refer to their URL, um, or we could use them now. Um, and that's the end of uh, this next, of this second video, which is how to set up, because we've basically, by doing that, we've, we've set everything up. Um, I'm not going to, I will make sure that I've saved this. I'm not going to show this in the browser yet because we haven't actually added any content, but in the next um, video we'll start to add some content.